Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I want to thank the ranking member for yielding a rise in support of S4900, which would reauthorize the Small Business Innovation Research and Small Business Technology Transfer Programs. In addition to extending the SBIR and STTR programs for three years, this bill contains several important provisions that safeguard our government and its research from foreign entities and enhanced benchmarks for those companies that have received multiple awards. Since 1992, SBIR, STTR programs have helped promote public-private partnership and small business innovation by requiring agencies with sizable R&D needs to set aside a portion of their budget for small business participation. As many of the speakers said before, before me, the return on investment has been nothing short of impressive. In the Department of Defense alone, between 95 and 2018, the SBIR and the STTR programs resulted in $28 billion in new product sales to the U.S. military, $347 billion in total economic output, and the creation of more than 1.5 million jobs. But with this uh, amount of participation comes the likelihood of influence and fraud within the program. And this was evident in the DOD report that found China was using some shell companies and its Thousand Talents program to profit off federally funded research programs like these two we're talking about here this afternoon. Uh, having been part of the negotiating process during my time as a conferee uh, for the competes and the USICA bill, the issue of combating foreign influence was certainly top of mind. I'm pleased that both sides were able to come to an agreement and understand the importance of safeguarding much of this research. Not only will this bill require companies to apply for SBIR and STTR awards to disclose any ties to China, but will also require federal agencies to bolster their due diligence to increase the efforts to ensure our intellectual property is fully protected. Uh, and most importantly, the bill also requires DOT to establish an open topic solicitation, allowing small businesses the opportunity to showcase how their innovations can be beneficial to the actual warfighter. The GAO believes this will be more efficiently laid out and planned, and that new companies can be bolstered uh, with this small business innovation. So I would urge my colleagues to vote yes and I would yield back the balance of my time.